Providence Park in Portland, Oregon, the site for today's match between the Portland Timbers and Seattle Sounders. A lot's been said and written about this rivalry, one that dates back to 1975. The talent to change the game, but he's looking for those final third moves, looking for those big plays. He's yet to see them from him this season. He's had a full preseason, he's feeling healthy, and when he's flanked by, we're showing here him off, off the left, he's gonna float into the middle, and a lot of times they're gonna look to get Gonzalez bombing on the left and see if he can get Obafemi Martins and Cooper's options ahead of him. Clint Dempsey returning from suspension. All the stars are out for the 85th all-time meeting between the Portland Timbers and Seattle Sounders, and it's underway. Gonzalo Pineda, the longtime Mexican veteran, to swing it in, and it's back in front. It's stabbed home on the doorstep by Kenny Cooper. Appeals for offside, not given. Anibaba played it back. He's the one leading the celebration. The Seattle Sounders, two minutes in, have the lead in Portland. Well, as this ball gets played far post, no one on Anibaba. It hits this back across, and definitely onside because there's two players, a goalkeeper and the man on the post there. And Kenny Cooper can't miss from there. We asked Kenny Cooper yesterday if he'd celebrate against his old team. He said, you know, I haven't thought about that yet. Well, we just saw the answer. No celebration, but a huge goal for the Seattle Sounders. Give up the ball on this near side of the field, and that's what the, C the Portland Timbers need to exploit. Chara first there to the ball with Pineda. Diego Chara's shot. It's a goal! Two and a half years between goals for Diego Chara, and it's 1-1. Too casual on the ball, and Chara picks his pocket. Late to step. Might take a tiny little deflection off of Chad Marshall as this ball comes through, pushing the ball away from the goalkeeper. Stefan Fry extends. Can't get anywhere near it. What a gift to get to this Portland Timber side from a player that's too experienced. Pineda can't be giving the ball away that cheaply in that spot on the field. Zero lets it go for Cooper. The touchdown for DeAndre Yedlin. Yedlin's cross is going to find Cooper again. It's a fine save for Weber. Powell first to the rebound. Powell long ball to find Nagby. Gets away from Yedlin. Anibaba now to meet him. Nagby shot off the post. The rebound swinging a miss on the doorstep from Valeri. And it's cleared away. And it's played. Now Nagby again in some open space. This is what Caleb Porter wanted. Nagby running at DeAndre Edlin. Hands off to Michael Harrington. Harrington's cross cut back. Valeri picks it up. Turn, shoots, and it's in! 2-1! A little bit of a transition here. Great overlapping run. And Yedlin gets stuck with the inside man. Late to get to Harrington. But how about this from Valeri? I said at the beginning of the game, Caleb Porter says he has the game-changing ability and wanted to see it the final third. Well, there it is. An impossible angle. Spins so quickly. Tight little touch. And the only place he could finish that ball, he does right off of the crossbar near post. Outstanding finish. And... Alonso giving it right to Cooper. Alonso's header finds Martins. He's got Dempsey in space. Put Dempsey a chance to tie it up. He's done it! Terrible ball out of the back from Paparato who's playing on the left side of the center back instead of the right. That little change may be hurting them a little bit as he tries to play with his weaker foot. But great ball in to Dempsey. Outstanding first touch to prepare it in front of himself and then so calm and easy. Watch as he just gets it in front of himself, slots it home. And that's what you pay the big money to Clint Dempsey to do. A response from the Portland, from Seattle Sandlers after the Portland Timbers give them a gift. Dempsey now. Dancing on the ball on the cross coming in from deep from Azira. Chad Marshall gets his head there. What a save. Andrew Weber full stretch to his left to keep it out of behind for a corner. You got to jump with Chad Marshall as this ball comes in. Plenty of height on it. Watch. No one really gets off their feet. Powell trying to jump. Jumps too late. You got to get up early and get into Chad Marshall. Look at how much power he's able to generate on that, which is difficult with a ball that's floated that high. The ensuing corner in towards Cooper. Chara able to clear only as far as a zero. Now Valeri for Portland. Alonso sizing him up. Alasson finds Chara on the turn. Diego Chara, pocket of space here with the runners in front of him. Chara takes it himself. Sensational goal! 
memory is long enough that you wouldn't give him this opportunity to do it to you in the second half. And Annie Baba just in no man's land. And that's why Alonzo gives him that shove and asks him what he's doing. Backpedaling, backpedaling, backpedaling. Just has no idea what to do. And how about that strike from Chara? Picture perfect. Can't believe that he's been able to carry the ball so long without any pressure and watch it come through the bodies. What a beautiful finish from that man right there, Chara. And he set Providence Park alight yet again. Give away in the center. On a ball with a mistake. Aruti the other way. Maxi Aruti! Another mistake right here. Anibaba has no idea Ruti's behind him, and Kenny Cooper puts him in a really bad spot. What delightful finish from Ruti. I thought he paused and held his run up a little too much and let Chad Marshall come into it, but he knew exactly what he was doing, just setting up this curling strike that's absolutely delicious. It in. Paparato is there. Is that over the line? It came off the other side of the bar. Leidsman says no. Pineda then goes down in a heap. Paparato might be given a yellow card. He thought he'd scored. Goes in the book to the challenge on Pineda. All right, Kyle. Well, this will be interesting. Well, all you Premier League fans. Well, I'm sure we're waiting for the referee to look at his watch, but no goal line technology in Major League Soccer as Paparato rises up, heads this one off the bar, and does it cross the line. Doesn't appear to have. Referee's assistant, you can see him standing right next to that corner flag, gets it right. It actually comes off of Yedlin's face. Wow. Doesn't know anything about it, but probably saves a goal right there. Pineda over the top. Nagel brings it down. Now trying to hold off Michael Harrington. Spins inside of him. Lamar Nagel gets the cross away. Martin to touch. Clint Dempsey! Here they come. It's 4-3 with five minutes to go. One reason I love Clint Dempsey in this withdrawn forward position is he's, he's more willing to get into the box and get forward into these dangerous spots. Nagel has been a bright spot since coming on, but watch him bring this ball with him. That is such a difficult touch. That ball deflects as it, before it gets to him. This will be a great angle. And he collects it as he's running, keeps it in his stride, and then still has the ability to finish it off. Outstanding finish from Clint Dempsey. Is it too late? I don't know, the way the Seattle Sounders are playing right now. So, the touch from Dempsey to find Marge. Char steps in. Yedlin gets there. It's a penalty. Penalty kick, Seattle Sounders. Quickly, things can turn. Watch as Yedlin comes in. And you can see Zemanski takes a look. Takes a look once, takes a look twice. Still can't get there before Yedlin. Right here is a good look at it. Absolutely spot on, right call. The contact on the left foot as he goes through. He was going to be beat to the ball. Zemanski at that point, it's not easy to do, but he's just got to let Yedlin collect that ball and hope someone else makes a big play. Fourth penalty kick given away by the Timbers in five games. Dempsey an opportunity to not only complete his hat trick, but to bring the Sounders back into a 4-4 scoreline in the 87th minute in Portland. Done it! How about this? Here's another look at that foul from a different angle. Absolutely spot on from the referee to point to the spot. And there's been a lot of talk lately about Clint Dempsey at the club level, at the international level, suggesting that he's not on form and struggling a little bit. 
And I think it's been overly critical. I think Clint would raise his hand and say, I haven't been at my best. But all he needed was one really big performance, I feel like, to get him back going. And this might be that performance. Valeri floats it in. The header knocked down. It was Paparotto closest to it. It's back in from Powell and over. And that's it.